Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Citadel with me, Grand Master Stitch, where we're carrying on with our Daenerys playthrough. In the last episode, we took the Iron Throne back for House Targaryen. And now we have a long and strenuous road in front of us to try and bring peace to the Seven Kingdoms. We've got the Iron Islands causing havoc. The West, which are not going to like us. We have the White Walkers invading the wall to the north as well as lots of many other issues that we do need to sort out so we need a new ambition so we'll go with broom and air obtain valyrian steel adopt a lifestyle become exiled among the mayor. um hmm we could go with groom and air it'd be an easy it'd be, it'd be good to get some valerian steel as well we'll, we'll go with We'll go with Grooming Air, why not? And we'll do our Prince Aegon, our heir. Okay, right. We are currently helping the Dornish fight against the Yormwood, so we need to bring our men over from Marine. Now that the revolt has been taken care of over there, um, let him rot for now. Leng recently, I don't really care about Leng. Right. Can we board the ship, please? Yep, until the next time. A vacancy has become available in your King's Guard. Seven swords must guard the Queen. You must choose a replacement. There are a few worthy knights, but I must pick someone. Okay, the most powerful lords and ladies of Westruff have sent their sons to... Uh, sons of brothers, right. Let's, let's just bring the... No, not there, actually. Uh, let's sail it up into here and we'll dock them directly in Yormwood. Osmond Kettleblack, not a chance. Otho Drake, let's have a look at you. A knight, see a trained fighter, family person, content, deceitful, stubborn. Mm. Sir Gareth Dargood. Okay, he's a knight, a skilled fighter, greedy, deceitful, proud, diligent and craven. You're not too bad though, so we will go for you. That's one King's God member. We still have another a hell of a lot more to find actually awesome we've now took over well everything has come to peace so we've got all the other kingdoms that are now under our control apart from the red forts who we do need to uh bring under heel at some point they now have their own little queen for some strange and unknown reason i will decide my new council yeah yes we need a new council we also need to change our capital to uh king's landing um why can I not make it? You can only move your capital during our uh, during peacetime. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's bring those over. Let's select our new council. High priest. Well, we'll sort that out as well in a moment. But let's bring the men over. Just the Iron Islands that we do need to sort out. But then we also need to look out for the White Walkers as well. Your Grace, I write on behalf of the bank to express. Um, we'll smooth it over. Right, the Yormwoods are slaughtering the Dornish, so our men need to get over here quickly to help out. As it is it is our fault that the Dornish armies are so depleted. Um, bring me the knights from the most powerful houses. Bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. Right, we've got Sir Jacob Darkholm, who's a trained fighter, a giant. He's brawny, a hedonist, patient, humble, kind. Right, you look pretty good, actually. You're not too bad. Orbit Deadwick. Uh, leads from the rear, siege leader, aggressive leader, brilliant commander. Okay, he's pretty good as well. And Sir Lynn Corbett. Oh, um, he is betrothed, a matrimonial betrothal with Alice Corbett. I don't think I can turn down the chance of having Sir Lynn Corbett in my King's Guard, so I'm, I'm going to have to accept that. Lady Forlane coming to, uh, to defend me. So, Link Aubrey Neal's your grace. I appreciate the offer, he says. However, I have ambition. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a shame. It would have been really awesome to have got Sir Link Aubrey in the uh, King's Guard. I'm not interested in the Tyrosha. All I was interested in was uh, liberating slavery. Now I leave you to have your petty differences between yourselves. Where are those bloody ships? Despite his best efforts to escape your court, Rakao has been causing the fires ravaging King's Landing. This is terrible. 
Uh, bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. Oliver Frey, Sebastian Wensington, Jacob Darkholm. Is he the one that I like the look of? Yes, it was, so we'll ask him. I'm sorry your grace, he says, but someday I may... Oh, you, for God's sake, the two best ones I really wanted, and neither are interested. Dorin Martell died of compilations related to gout at the age of 65. We must select a Warden of the South. The Warden of the South. I'll pick someone later. Where is our fleet? Ah, here it comes. Oh, but the war's ended because he's died, so... Bring me the greatest knights in the realm. Hostin Frey, Oliver Frey, Sebastian Wensington. Skilled fight. Mm. Let's see if he's interested. I'm sorry. Okay, so nobody, literally nobody is interested in the slightest. Bring the fleet up here. Can we now change our capital? Yes, make King's Landing our capital. That's better. We'll grant Marine to somebody as well, actually, at some point. Won't be able to declare war while we're a bit... Oh, we don't want to declare war on you anyway. We want to declare war on the Ironborn once we uh, disband our soldiers. Who owns Dragonstone now? Who are you on Dragonstone? Lord Roland Storm. Well, I'll be taking that back. Uh, bring me the knights from the most powerful houses. Hostin Frey, Sir Willem Rivers of House Dara. Skilled fighter, a jump. Mm, not the best though. Theo Frey. Mm, Hostin Frey. Mm, oh no, he's a skilled fighter. He's an imbecile though. Oh my god, there's like such poor choices for the King's Guard. None of these men should guard me. They're all pathetic. Right, let's disband the armor. Disband, yes. Disband. Select a new Warden of the North. Um, it should fall to the Lord of the North for now. And let's disband all these units. Disband the fleet. There we go. Right. Right, what have we got to sort out then? I want to revoke the title of Dragonstone, because that should be mine. Can we not technically do that because it's underneath drift mark um gonna retract the vassalage of dragonstone please no i'm gonna need to revoke the high lordship aren't i for um to give it to our son anyway but we'll leave that for now right the westerlands i don't want you in can i revoke your kingdom of the West. That's kingdom of the Westerlands. High Lord of Castle. We need to get rid of you. Who is your heir? Your type. We want to get Tyrion in control of the West. Really. Pike, Iron King, Geralt declare war. Dragon conquest of the Iron Islands, which we can do. So we will do that in a moment. Let's just have a look at our council. Can we actually make it a little bit better? Um, do we have a better Master of Laws now? Surely we do. Little thing. Oh, yeah, we'll go with little finger. Why not? Um, Master of Coin. Surely we've got a better one. No, we actually haven't. Okay. Uh, Master of Whisperers. We'll leave as it is. High Priest. Um, yeah, we'll go with you. Serve the court. Master at Arms. Do we have a better one? Not really. Well, we do, but I'd rather leave it as Jura for now. Can we actually declare war on the others? Yes, declare war. War for the dawn. Should I do that first or do I take the Iron Islands first? We'll get rid of the Iron Islands first. How many men are they going to have? 16,000. How many men do we have? 55,000. Wow. Yes, okay. Declare war. Dragon conquest of the Iron Islands. Send. They will surely honour their obligations. Let's see who actually decides to join us then, shall we? Let's raise our men. Wow. More men than we had before. Can we all march to Dragonstone? Apart from the 4,000 here. Can we get you guys on the fleet and dock the fleet down in King's Landing? We've also still got our Miranese army as well that we'll be able to call upon. Oh, wow. It's not... Oh, no, no. That's a fair few men. We'll get them all gathered up there. 
Do we have a sh some ships here for these men? Yes, we do. We'll dock those there. Let's call up our ships here. And our ship... Right, who can we give Marine to now? In our court. Who's worthy of Marine? Who could we give Marine to? Let's have a look. Someone who's going to want to stay over that side of the world, though, really. Most of our people aren't really going to want to stay over there, are they? Hisdar Zoe Yerin. Grant landed title. Lordship of Marine, including the lower titles. There we go. Let's gather our men together up there. Your grace, I would honor my alliance and take up arms to defend the realm against the Iron Throne's enemies. Okay, so the North are joining us, which is interesting. Some of your kin are unhappy that you... Yeah, whatever, Quentin. Awesome. Most of the Reach has split away from the Iron Islands, which is going to make things a lot easier. But everybody else has decided to not get involved, which is annoying. But I think we'll have enough men anyway. Why have we got this random... Why is Wayfarer's Rest under our vassalage? It shouldn't be, right. Uh, we can't do it at wartime anyway. They'll surely honour their obligations. Bring me the knight. Bring me the greatest knights. No, I'm not having... Rickard Fell. Let's have a look at you. Strong, trained fighter, diligent, humble. Okay, you're not too bad. Ronald Bolin. Here's a skilled fighter, charitable, slothful, lustful, and... Hmm. Let's go for Rickard Fell. It'd be the highest honour. Awesome. Finally, we've had someone who said yes. About blimming time. Everyone has refused to uh, come to arms yet again. The Stormlands, though. We've got the Stormlands on our side. Bring me the greatest knights in the realm. Durin Tudbury. Skilled fighter, celibate. You're perfect if you're celibate. As your grace commands, I hereby renounce my inheritance to serve as a knight of your king's guard. Awesome. Sir Durin's father, Lord Mikkel Tudbury, is furious. Yeah, but he was celibate anyway, so what? it doesn't really matter, does it? Dark wings, dark words. A raven has arrived from the Dreadford with word from Lord Paramount Roos the North. It can no longer be denied that the ancient enemy that is the others has risen once again. It is time for all men to set aside their petty... Ready, the men. We ride north at dawn. We'll go north once we take care of the Iron Islands. Let's just get our hosts together first. Bring me the greatest knights in all the realm. Matthew Gramanton. Skilled fighter. Okay, a twin. Yeah, why not? You look alright. Let's... Your grace, it says it would be the highest honour. Awesome. Another king... Okay, we're, getting... we're on a roll now. We're actually getting some uh, Kingsguard members now. How's our armies gathering up here now? Not doing too bad. Level. We've got some 2,000 men to raise in Marine as well. Let's march those over. Call our ships up. We might need those uh, 28 ships to bring the men over. We're going to need all those men. We might. I might send that second host north, actually. And just let our main army here handle the Iron Islands. They should be able to handle the Iron Islands, surely. All we need is our dragons. Bring me the greatest knights in the realm. Let's have a look at Bolling again. Yeah, Bolling isn't too bad. Uh, but I fear I cannot give up the pleasure of women for a lifetime. Fair enough. Fair play. Come on, it's taking so long to gather our men. Bring the, the greatest knights in the row. Osman Kettleblack. No, I'm not having a Kettleblack in my King's Guard. Not a chance. No, none of these men shall guard me. I can't be bothered right now. Right. Marjorie Army, 14,000. Not a bad hope. Wow, that's a lot of uh, Ironborn men, though. Lord Reaver Mace Tyrell's treason is one thing, but the Tyrell that stands beside the Iron Throne carrying the very sword sworn to defend your life, can Sir Loris be trusted to honour his vow before his family? He is a knight of the King's Guard. He will do his duty. Your subject, Sir Loris, rides into King's Landing, dragging a prisoner in tow. Not only did he escape the capital, but he brought one of the Queen's children with him. What? Has he got... Your subject, Sir Loris, rides into King's Landing, dragging a prisoner in tow. Not only did he escape the capital, but he brought one of the Queen's children with him. Okay. You are awakened in the middle of the night by one of your guards. I'm sorry, your grace, he says. Horror drawn to the express. Sir Loris Tyrell has fled King's Landing with one of your children in tow. Oathbreaker. You bastard. Which one? 
Which one, please? Oh, is it my air? Yeah, it's my air. I'm actually not too bothered about that because the second one's a lot better. Aegon Targaryen is... What the hell is going on here? It's currently my captive. Something's gone... Something's gone very wrong here. Release him, he can repair. I don't understand what the... <laughs> He's fled with my child and then brought my child to me. Right, we're leading this army. Let's attack that army. Our dragon will make the difference. Right, let's have a look. In marine, 11,000 men. How many ships have we got? Only 89. That's not enough to make... It's not enough for the journey. Can we call any more from anywhere? No, we're going to have to... Uh, send over the royal fleet then, aren't we, to pick those up. There's a lot of reinforcements to leave behind, so we want to make sure that we do use those. Let's get ready to deploy our dragon in the siege, uh, in the battle, sorry, and crush this ironborn host. We might not even need to, actually, but we'll lose less men by doing so and kill more of those, so let's use a uh, Drogon. Iron King Geralt Drajor the Iron Eyes tried to slay your dragon and failed. He was beaten back by the flames and was severely burnt. There we go. Yeah, crushing victory without losing too many men. Awesome. A great victory. 32% war score as well now, which is awesome. Wow, we absolutely crushed that army. It literally halved it. Right, let's go and get Grassy Vale under siege. I can't believe that Mace Tyrell decided to stay loyal to those instead, even though we've got an alliance with him. What a bastard. Fuming, I am. Absolutely fuming. Uh, your Bannerman Lord Albion Massey is currently under threat. It's my duty. We're going to have to get involved, really, aren't we? Who are they at war? Slaves raid. Okay, we'll just leave it to do its own thing for now. Oh, the f is the ships into Slaver's Bay yet? Not yet. Shouldn't be long till they get here, though. There we go. 300 ships. Let's embark the armor, and we'll send those to sail round to the Iron Islands. Whilst we siege the lands back over here and chase down the Ironborn armor. There we go, great victory. Let's carry on marching south to wherever the Ironborn army is. There it is, 8,000 men. We should be able to crush that armor. The, drag, the guards drag Jamie Lannister up from his cell. Okay, let's have a look. Are you still one-handed? Yes, you are, but you still got a very good combat. Yes, you have that right. Belwis. Yeah, let's call up Belwis. Belwis says, I'll stand for you, your grace. Fight with Belwis. You watch in horror as Belwis falls to the floor dead. Jamie Lannister's sword striking a mortal blow. The prisoner takes his leave, walking out the doors with a smile on his face. Right, I'm surprised by that, considering he's only got one hand. And he's still the Lord Commander of our Kingsguard, which is a little bit annoying. Where is that Ironborn? Ah, it's marching off to the west. Okay. Interesting. Has the fleet arrived yet? Yes, it has. That was quick. Let's dock in Pike then and get it under siege, lads. Where has that... Where's the uh, Ironborn army gone? Let's march around. Okay, the side, the uh, Fossilway army is on our side, which is good. Let's march on to Old Oak. Okay, we have ended up getting in a fight with the Liberation Army, which is not good, really, because we want... That would have been better off if we, uh... Let's put ourselves in control. Oh, we can't at the moment, because we're currently... Is it because we're currently on the march or currently in battle? We're currently in battle. Wait for that other way, then we can move ourselves over to Pike and use our dragon in the Siege of Pike. 
where is our fleet actually? Let's move the fleet over here and we can uh, we can get our army boarded on that fleet. Let's get ourselves in control of this and deploy dragon in the siege of Pike Dracaris. Be better once Drogon gets a little bit bigger, but it's done a lot of damage to be fair, so it's not it's not all doom and gloom. It's not all doom and gloom. Um, bring me the knights I can trust the most. So Loris Tyrell. What? I, I don't. I really don't understand what. Uh, I really don't understand what. I'm putting back on the king's log because he didn't actually kidnap our child. He stayed in our. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't understand what the hell happened there. If I'm honest. Right, how's the Siege of Pike going? Not too bad, not too bad, Le. Can we get on the fleet, please? Go oh, no, 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 there's the... Ah, bring me the greatest knights in the realm. No, I'm not having a kettle black. I may as well just get on the fleet now. And then dock the men there to battle. Can we deploy Drogon again? Yes, we can. Dracaris. Okay, great victory at getting Se Pike under siege. Crush that army, which we are doing, even with the landing. Can't be bothered right now. Hopefully, will it be about one this war now? End this. Get the Greyjoys and the Iron Islands back under our control. Chosen by Relor, the two gods are locked in an eternal struggle over the fate of the world. A struggle that according to the ancient prophecy from the books of Ashai will only end when Azor Ahai... The Messiah figure will return, wielding a flaming sword called Lightbringer, the red sword of heroes and raised dragons from stone. The Red Priest says, I am Azor High Reborn, worthy to wield Lightbringer and drive the darkness from the world. I will bring the light. Nice. We are Azor High, apparently. How's things going in this siege? Can we deploy the dragon again yet? Yes, we can. Burn them all. Burn Pike to the ground and those dirty ironborn. Let's crush this Tyrell host as well. Get all these uh, ironborn reach lands under siege. Can we assault this plea? Yeah, it's very... Uh, we're not the leader of the siege apparently. There's already another army here, which is a bit annoying. Never mind, we'll leave them to it. Can we deploy the dragon again? Yes, we can. We're losing men massively uh, in the Siege of Pike. Supply lines are very bad. We've almost won this war now, though. Let's assault again. There's only 100 defenders. And there's only 420 defenders here. Once we get a chance in 10 days' time to assault again. There we go. All of Pike is under siege. Let's march on to the next province on Pike. And let's move on to Cat's World. Get that under siege. Oh, no, there's an Ironborn army there. Let's crush that. I think that'll probably give us enough to win the war, you know. We're at 85% uh, currently. There we go, 100%. Offer peace and enforce demands. Yes. The Iron Island. There we go. So the Iron Islands have been brought to peace. Let's disband our armies. Oh, we'll lose a lot of men because the war's... Yeah, the war's not fully over yet, is it? So we'll just have to wait a moment. Did they dock? Yes, they're going to dock. Can't disband the armies just yet, but we'll sort stuff out in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. We've now brought the Iron Islands to heal. We still have the Red Forts to deal with. And then, obviously, we have the White Walkers who are the main threat still before we can bring peace to the realm thank you all so much for watching as always please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you want to chat and hopefully i'll see you very soon for my next video